What up, Boxing World? JF Sports. Manny Pacquiao's reaction to the current Floyd Mayweather's controversy of illegal use of IV is very simple. As a matter of fact, Manny Pacquiao is very calm. He didn't say much. And um, he's not looking for anything, you know. He said, the truth finally came out and I was vindicated. Floyd Mayweather used to accuse me of using performance enhancing drugs. Now look at what happened. I hope Floyd Mayweather would learn a good lesson out of it. Now I'm put the link in the description so you guys check out the whole article on it. But you know to summarize even though it was short and sweet about Manny Pacquiao's reaction to the whole situation Manny Pacquiao is not looking for anything. You know what I'm saying? It's up to everybody whether they want the rematch, whether Mayweather needs to be punished or not, or walk free or acquitted of all charges, whatever. Accusations, you name it, right? So Manny Pacquiao is just moving on with his life, with his career. It doesn't matter to him, you know? And that's just kind of person Manny Pacquiao is. You know what I'm saying? He's not going to harp on this. He's not looking for anything, no nothing. You know, he just said that he hopes Mayweather learn from this. And he's right. Guess what? Whether Mayweather was or was not using performance enhancing drugs, I fucking guarantee you this. From now the fuck on, Floyd Mayweather Jr. would be very fucking cautious. Very be aware. Very fucking reluctant of doing as fucking small as a fucking IV from now on. You mark my words. You know? And that's good. It's an eye opener. Because like I said, whether Mayweather is found guilty or not of the accusations at the moment, bros, you guys know that motherfucker is hiding something. And so does the fucking USADA. Mayweather, USADA, they're hiding something. And whether it comes out or not, who the fuck knows, right? But uh, Manny Pacquiao's response and reaction to all of this is simple. Hope Mayweather learns from this because he used to accuse me of using performance enhancing drugs. And that's it. You know, simple. He moves on with his life. Now, had the fucking tables turned, if Manny Pacquiao was fucking caught by USADA shooting fucking needle in his fucking arm with saline and some vitamins in it, what the fuck do you think would happen? Especially if it was in a time frame that he wasn't supposed to use it. They would bury fucking Manny Pacquiao six feet under. They would tarnish his name. They would deny him U.S. visa to come to America to ever fucking work again. They would never allow Manny Pacquiao to fucking come to the United States of America to fucking work ever again. That's what would happen. They will fucking dismantle Manny Pacquiao. Does it matter? No. Manny Pacquiao is fine. He can live in fucking Asia and he'd be fine. But like I said, if the tables have been turned and Manny Pacquiao was the one that USADA walked in on with a fucking needle in his arm, taking fucking 750 milligrams of fucking whatever, guess what would have happened? It would have been all over the hell. It would probably hit fucking CNN. You know, Mayweather would have a fiasco. Mayweather would have a new fucking fiesta, a new fucking holiday added to the calendar. He would have a celebration. He would have a new fucking social media slash new Mayweather Twitter account just for to taunt, taunt and insult, disrespect Manny Pacquiao. That's what would happen. Because you know Mayweather's like a little bitch. He would do everything to taunt somebody, disrespect somebody. You know? That's what he does. He's a bitch. And that's what the bitches do. You know what I mean? Just like if you had a fucking girlfriend and you broke up with them and they don't want to break up with you. What do they do? They egg your car. You know, they stab your tires. You know, they ruin everything in your path. That's how fucking Floyd Mayweather is. He's like a little bitch, you know. He's a little bitch and that's what he does. And Manny Pacquiao had nothing to say. You know, even after the fucking fight. Even when fucking Pacquiao was asked, what do you think of Mayweather versus Berto fight? He said, nothing negative. He said, that's a good fight because Berto is just a good competitor. Nothing. No insult. But Which, by the way, I know from the fucking fact, Pacquiao... Probably had some things to say about the mayweather Birdo fight being a fucking cherry pick. But he don't want to say because it it's none of his business, you know. He doesn't stick his nose where it doesn't need to be. Well, Mayweather 
he goes down on the fucking ocean floor to fucking go above and beyond just to fucking disrespect and insult Manny Pacquiao. That's the kind of person he is. And guess what? Whether he gets away with the current controversy of the IV use or not, his name is fucking connected to it. He's connected to the illegal use substance. He's connected to performance enhancing drugs, whether it's found guilty or not. That's it. You know, when you ask from now on, if you walk around a month, a week, a year from now, if you walk around a casual sport, uh, a casual boxing fan, even a fucking hardcore boxing fan, if you ask him, Mayweather, Pacquiao, give me one word to describe of it. He would say some shit like, yeah, Pacquiao lost his shoulder injury, you know, and Mayweather was accused of using performance and asking drugs. That's it. That's there, there to it. You know, there's no ifs and buts about it. That's what's going to happen. Mayweather used performance enhancing drugs. Pacquiao had a shoulder injury. That's it. That's what's going to happen. You know, Manny Pacquiao was denied at all cost to take vitamins, water, a legal Touradol numbing shot for his shoulder. Legal, legal. You know, Mayweather stepped on the fucking black line, not even on the fucking gray line. You know what I'm saying? It was black. It was like a black, red, no, no. And he stepped over it, but they're trying to push the situation as if it was only on the gray line. Like he didn't actually go over and step above or outside the gray line. You know what I mean? That's what they're trying to make this as. You know, you got USADA coming out with a fucking denial statement. You got fucking Mayweather coming out with his fucking response to the whole situation oh let's not forget i was the one that started this for a long fucking time that's why the boxing sport is now where it is as far as drug testing and random testing i started this six years ago yeah because you probably have been doing it fucking six years ago since six years ago manny pacquiao has nothing bad to say about all this he was asked about his opinion about the current controversy of floyd mayweather all he said is this. I hope he learns from this. Because he used to accuse me of using performance enhancing drugs. That's it. And I'm going to say it again. The link is in the description. You guys check him out. There's also somewhat of a, a rant on Bob Arum. And also on Mayweather. So I'm going to make a video on those. I'm going to give you guys the links. But to end this video. I'd like to tell you guys that I guarantee you. What happens between now and then, now and tomorrow, now and forever, regarding Floyd Mayweather Jr., that motherfucker will be cautious. That motherfucker will be very, very careful if he is or is not using performance enhancing drugs. And you guys know that. He'll be more extra careful. He'll be fucking very cautious and he will fucking try to cover every angle now and guess what even USADA might be out of the game USADA might be under scrutiny between now and then USADA might be under microscope from now on you know what I mean one more fucking issue controversy like this coming out from USADA guess what's gonna happen in USADA they're gonna shut that whole fucking place burn it down let me know what you guys think drop me a comment as always take it for this word JF Sports. Thanks for watching.